اے پیر آف ٹو سوراز سورت التقویر سورت الانفطار بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم از شم سکورت دس سورا از ویری پیکولیئر دا دی سین آف دی اسا وٹ ول بی ہیپننگ یو نو وٹ ول بی دی ترمائل دی کیفیت آف دیٹ ترمائل آن دیٹ ڈے از شم سکورت وین دی سن ول بی ریپڈ اپ وائز النجوم ان کا درد اینڈ وین دی اسٹارز ول فال اینڈ لوز دیئر لسٹر وائز الجبال سیرت اینڈ وین دی ماؤنٹینز ول بی میڈ ٹو موو وائز الشار ان کا درد اینڈ وین دی ٹین منتھ پرگنٹ شی کیملز ول بی رننگ ہیئر اینڈ دیئر ود آؤٹ بینگ ٹیکن کیئرڈ آف During the 10 months pregnant, she camel was a very valuable thing for the Arab Bedouin. So he used to have very, to take very care of it. But no, today, that day, nobody will have any thought of that she camel. That will be running in this side, this side. Vaidal Vahusha Hushinat. And when the beasts were be herded together, that they will be, that even the beasts, they will forget that their function is to pray and kill and eat. No, no. They will be standing. As they stand, they will be herded together. Vaisal Bihar Usujjanat. And when the seas will boil and swell, Vaisal Nufus Uzujjanat. And when the souls will be reunited. But the interpretation of this reunion of souls, we have two opinions. One is from Akrama and Hassan Basri. That is, they will be reunited with their bodies. When we die, our souls are separated from our bodies. The bodies go to the earth. Decays. But now on the resurrection, these souls are united again with the bodies. These bodies will be new. New bodies will be given and now the souls will be reunited. Just as in the wombs of the mother, after four months, that soul, that spirit is brought by the angel and united with the, the embryo in the womb of the mother. In the same way, on that day, the souls will be reunited with their bodies. But from Ibn Abbas ta'ala the opinion is that the souls will be grouped in different categories. There are different categories of disbelievers, different categories of the believers. Among the believers there are, there, there would be prophets, messengers, then the Siddiqim, then the Shohada, and so on and so forth. Awliya Allah. So they will be grouped accordingly. And in the same way, among the disbelievers and the enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there are different grades. Vaizal mawudat us soilat. And when the, when the girl child buried alive is questioned, bayayizam bin qutilat, for what sin of her she was slain and buried alive. This was the custom with the Arabs in that jahiliya, that they were very much ashamed but they were told that a daughter has been born to them. And most of them used to take the daughter and bury it alive. Dig a pit and put her in it and then throw the sand over her. So now, instead of saying that the people will be asked, why did you bury your daughter? No, the scene is that that she, that, that baby, that she will be asked. Due to what mistake of yours you were slain? Why is that so for no shirat? And when the records of the deeds, they will be laid open. These are your records. Ikura kitabak, kafa bin asikal yaw ma'areka hasiba. Why is that samao ko shitat? And when the heaven is stripped off, laid bare, why is al jahim as su'irat? And when the hell will be set ablaze, by the jannah to uzlefat, and when the garden is brought near, alimat nafsum ma ahbarat, 
On that day, every soul shall come to know what it has sent before for itself. All his deeds are there. فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِسْتَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَهُ وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِسْتَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًا يَرَهُ Every soul will come to know that this is what I had sent before coming to this world. I had already sent these deeds of mine here. Now the second part of this surah, it discusses the same issue which is discussed in the beginning of Suratul Najm. Sight of the Prophet that he saw Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam in his original angelic form twice. Once on the ufuk, on the horizon, and once in the Sidratil Muntaha on the day, on the night of the ascension, Miraj. So this, this, the same issue is because most more important issues are, as a rule, discussed in the Quran at least twice. So here, there you know, Vardajim started with the oath, one najme is a hawa. Here also you find, فَلَا أُخْسِمُ بِالْخُنَّسِ الْجَوَارِ الْقُنَّسِ وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا عَصْعَسِ وَالصُبْحِ إِذَا تَنَفَّسِ I swear by the receding stars, moving swiftly and hiding. And I swear by the night when it departs, and by the morning when it breathes, starts breathing, you know, because activity is going to start after the morning, as if morning is breathing. إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلُ رَسُولٍ كَرِيمٍ Verily, surely, definitely, this is the speech of a noble messenger. And here by the no no noble messenger is meant Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam. In Surah Al-Haqqah, the noble messenger, innahu laqalu rasulin kareem, was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And we have read in Surah Al-Hajj, Allahu yastafi min al-malaikati rasulam wa min al-nas. So, this is word of God, word of Allah. From Allah, it came to Jibreel. From Jibreel, it came to Muhammad. And from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa people knew it. So this is the speech of Jibreel also. And we can say this is the speech of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Because it came out of the mouth of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa It was not sent down written on anything. It was sent on his heart. <coughs> and the people came to know it through the mouth of Muhammad sallallahu So it is called of Rasul. But both are Rasul. Jibreel is Rasul number one. He is the Rasul from among the angels. And Muhammad sallallahu is Rasul number two. He is the messenger from among the human beings. Innahu laqawdu rasulin kareem zi quwwatin in the zil arsh makeen there we hear Zu Murratin Fastawa Summa Dana Fatadalla Fakana Kaba Kausani Awadna. These were the you know condition of Hazrat Jibrail described in Surah Al Najm. Here, Zi Kuwatin in the Zil Arshe Bakin. He is endued with power and he has a high position near the Lord of the throne, Zil Arshe Makin, Mutain Sammahameen. He is obeyed by the angels. And at the same time, he is trustworthy. Whatever message is given to him, he, he conveys it exactly in the same form. And your friend, your man, that is Muhammad sallallahu The same word came in Surah Al-Najm. Ma walla sahibukum wa ma gawa. Your man. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is from amongst you. He is a Karshi from the tribe of Quraysh. And he has not gone mad. And here, Ma sahib bi majnoon. He is not possessed. No evil spirit has possessed him. He has not gone crazy. Walakad rahu bil He saw the angel, Jibreel, 
at the clear horizon. Wabahu al ghaybi bidwanin. It has been interpreted in two ways. He is not miserly in conveying the unseen. Whatever knowledge of the unseen comes to him, he conveys to the people. He is not miserly, he doesn't keep it to himself. And the second meaning is, he is not the seeker of the unseen. He doesn't want that, that the unseen should be disclosed to him. It is being disclosed to him by the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has appointed him as a messenger. Anyhow, this is not the speech of an accursed Satan. So where are you heading? Where are you going? In huwa illa zikrun lillah alameen. This Quran and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam both are nothing but an admonition to the worlds, to all the peoples, all the nations of the world. لِمَنْ شَاءَ مِنْكُمْ مَنْ يَسْتَقِيمُ to whomsoever of you who wills to go straight, whosoever wants to take to the straight path, for him, this is the guidance. And your wishing will also be of no avail, unless Allah also wishes. You want to do something, Allah gives the permission, then you can do it. So even your wishing and your deciding something is not sufficient. But Allah's permission is required. Illa yasha Allahu Rabbul Alameen. Except as Allah wills the Lord of the worlds.